If you want to lose your grip on reality, and completely destroy your sanity, just listen to the clock. But this will not be easy, let me tell you right now. This is not something to mess around with, it's just an easy way to lose your mind within the confines of your own home. But there are a couple of guidelines to follow. First, pick a room with no windows. This can be a room for anything, it just can't have any windows. Second, you can start at any time of the day, even if you wish to start at night, for the process will take exactly 24 hours to complete. Third, cancel all appointments you have for the day, turn off your phone if you have to, for there can't be any distractions for you to focus on. Fourth, make sure it's a calm and quiet day outside, not windy or stormy. Lastly, to start the process, you must go inside the room that you picked and put down a clock. The clock must make the distinct tick-tock sound with every second passing. Turn off the lights and light a candle. That candle will be your only source of light. Once you have done all that, I honestly want you to ask yourself one question. Do I really want to do this? If your answer is yes, then may God have mercy on you. I'm here merely to prepare you on what to expect. Alright, let me tell you a little information about the procedure. Back in the mid 1800s, radical members of the Christian, Muslim and Islamic faith used it as a way to connect with God. It was kept under wraps due to its extreme nature and unusual method to connect with the supernatural. The clock represented life on earth and how short it can be. The candle represented God as the only way of guidance through life. Most often than not, each person that went through the procedure would lose their minds within a day and due to their insane actions would kill themselves from what they have claimed to see. But if you were one of the lucky ones, you can keep your sanity. Like me. Okay? Now here's what to expect. The first three hours are the least eventful, mainly because nothing really happens. But use these hours to prepare yourself. These hours are the only ones that you can use to choose to leave the procedure. In the fourth hour, you will not be able to escape by any means. The lock on your door will lock by itself and you will have no way to move it. In the fifth hour, you will start to sweat profusely and will start having feelings of anxiety. You will start looking behind you many times and every time there will be nothing there. In the sixth hour, you will start hearing noises. Not noises from the house or from outside, but thuds and thumps throughout the hour in 10 minute intervals, with each noise getting louder. In the seventh hour, you will pass out and dream, but this will be the only pleasant hour throughout the process. You will dream about the best moments of your life, every accomplishment, wonderful memory and friend you made will appear before you. It will be the best dream you ever had in your life, even events from the future can appear. At the beginning of the eighth hour, you shall wake up. But when you do, you will feel an extreme sense of elation and comfort, similar of the effects of smoking marijuana. Now, for some, this could be considered another pleasant hour, but what comes after will be the start of your suffering. In the ninth hour, you will, in a sense, go from one drug to another. Your feelings of elation will change to that of extreme adrenaline and energy, similar to the effects of any stimulant drug, but a warning. You must try your hardest to keep yourself under control. You're unpredictable. There's no telling what you will do in this state. In the 10th hour, hopefully you will have minimum injuries from the last hour. But now you will start to feel normal and the feelings you previously felt will subside. Now, you will hear screaming. But the screaming 
can vary what it sounds like from a little girl to a full grown man. You will hear screaming at 6 minute intervals throughout the hour. This hour is going to feel like an eternity to pass. At the 11th hour, the light from your candle will go out. That's it. You are left alone in darkness. You are free to think to yourself, most likely regretting the decision you have made. At the 12th hour, the light from the candle will reappear. But do not worry, this is another hour of silence. But mentally prepare yourself for what you are about to experience next. In the 13th hour, you shall pass out. Much like you did in the 7th hour, but don't expect happy memories. In this dream, you shall experience every painful moment, suffering and unpleasant thing that's ever happened in your life all over again. Even suffering in the future, including your own death. This will be the worst dream you will ever have in your life. At the 14th hour, you will wake up. This is another hour of silence, but the silence will be broken by your own sobbing. Your tears shall continue until the hour is over. In the 15th hour, this is putting it bluntly, this is when things get weird. You will talk to someone. He's not visible, but he's there. He doesn't have a name but I'm giving him one. He's your guardian angel, but you can call him watcher or protector. But for me, I call him asshole. This may seem funny, but trust me, it suits him. The first thing he will say to you is ask me anything and I shall give you an answer. You can ask him about things in your life, what will happen in the future, and why events occurred when they did. He will give you an answer, but in extreme and graphic detail, and giving reasons for things you will not understand, whether it be tragedy or death. By the end of the hour, he will say, farewell, and then leave. In the 16th hour, you will talk to your parents, but they do not make a physical appearance, mind you. No, it's your turn to answer the questions. They will ask you questions about what you have done with your life, and if you do not answer one of their questions, they will press on for an answer until you can't take it anymore. At the end of the hour, they will go away. At the 17th hour, you will talk to the most important guy in your life, whether it be your significant other or your best friend. He will ask you why and how you became friends. Keep in mind, he is not looking for friendly conversation. He is questioning your friendship with him, finding every mistake you have done to cripple your friendship with him. Reasoning with him will not work, and he will act like your parents did in the previous hour. At the 18th hour, you will speak to the most important girl in your life, whether it be your significant other or your best friend. She will do the same as the person in the 17th hour did, and ask the same questions. At the 19th hour, you will talk with yourself, meaning you will talk with your future self, and trust me, this is the least pleasant conversation. He will tell you things that you do not want to hear about yourself, and will ask you questions you can and can't answer. Soon, it will be too much and you will find yourself screaming at yourself and anger and self-loathing will be the only emotions you feel. In the 20th hour, following the events of the 19th hour, you will find any possibility to hurt yourself. Self-inflicting pain will be a constant in this hour. Some have even committed suicide in this hour. In the 21st hour, if you have managed to survive the previous hour, here's what awaits you. Music. Yes, music. It will be soft orchestral music, 
with a choir singing Gregorian chant similar to church music, but more beautiful. By the end of this hour, your wounds will heal. Don't ask me why, even I don't know. In the 22nd hour, the music will stop. This is another hour of silence, but you have time to think to yourself. The light on the candle will change colours, all colours of the spectrum. This is quite a sight to behold, it's almost soothing. In the 23rd hour, you will sing Gregorian chant, but your singing will be the only sound in the room. You honestly don't know what you're singing, but it sounds beautiful and you will actually want to sing more. Finally, the 24th hour. This is the most interesting hour. Rumour says that you talk to God himself, but here is how it goes. You are pinned to the floor by some unknown force, and someone or something asks you a question at 10 minute intervals. Questions like, are you happy? Or, would you like to change? You must answer, you will feel the need to. The questionnaire sounds like a man, but at the same time, sounds like an animal, almost like the roar of a lion. His voice is terrifying, but yet comforting at the same time. After your hour is up, you will be able to get up and the door will unlock. If you're lucky, you will still have your sanity. Now it's up to you what you shall do with the information. If you want to do this, I'm not stopping you, but I'm giving you fair warning. Some things are beyond the realms of human comprehension, and sometimes we just have nothing to explain the unnatural. But whatever it is, at least we know we are not alone. Now remember what I have told you. If you want to lose your grasp on reality and completely destroy your sanity, just listen to the clock.